We're live from Chevy Chase. Welcome back. It's time for our morning chat. And today we're chatting about our cute little pet of the month. The Whitford Humane Society provides housing and care to a ton of homeless dogs and cats and all kinds of critters. And we have friend of the show here, Beth Olson. She's the marketing director with our pet of the month. It's Cora. It's Cora. Welcome Cora. into the show. She's obviously a baby baby. She's only about 13 weeks old. She's a boxer and shepherd mix. She can be a pretty oh big girl. Oh my goodness. I always say that and everyone's like, I don't see that. Well, I know. How big are you talking? <laughs> like Probably a shepherd? Probably like 70 pounds, 60, really? 70 Really? I don't um, believe it, Cora. So the, she came from a litter of six. She's the last one still waiting for a home. Every one of the puppies in this litter looked different. So, you know. Yeah, that's cool. We could be totally wrong. She could turn out to be something <laughs> completely different. You know, there may be more than one dad in that litter, so it's a total jack, like, just who knows. Yes. Um, but she is super, super sweet. She's a very personable little puppy. She's very, like, people-oriented. Um, now that her siblings have been adopted, she's sort of learning to gain confidence and, and explore on her own. Yeah. Um, she's just, she's ready to go to a wonderful home. Yeah, so what kind of family would be best for her? Um, you know, the great thing about a puppy this age is as long as you have the time to mm -hmm. put into all the puppy stuff, so exercising and training and potty training and socializing and all that, they can really be whatever you want them to be. Yeah. So she's at an age where she's learning to love other animals, she's learning to love kids, she's mm -hmm. learning to love all different kinds of things. Um, so socialization would be key for her. Absolutely. And you know, making sure that she gets used to being out around other animals and yeah. strangers and all that stuff. Yeah, right. I feel like she's posing right now. She's so no, she's oh. tiny. And uh, she's so tiny. So she's the tiniest pup we've had on the show to date. Yeah. And so I was asking you the question, is it puppy season? And you said I said, well, it feels like it's always puppy season. Um, so puppies, we don't have as much of a season. It's kind of all year long. Yeah. Um, it's kitten season is getting like started, people. but yeah. <laughs> right. um, you know, we, we have puppies off and on throughout the year and it's been a pretty common occurrence over the last year or two that we'll always have somebody. Yes. So if you're really looking for a baby, you know, check with a shelter. Absolutely. You'll probably find one. Absolutely. Yeah. Adopt my little dog, Spencer. He, we adopted him and he's been the best dog. And you all provide so many services for when someone does adopt a dog. Tell us about those services. What comes with the dog? We cat? do. So one of the perks of adopting is that it's really a great deal. Mm -hmm. um, everybody is already fixed. They're up to date on their vaccinations. They have had um, parasite prevention. They've been heartworm tested. They've been microchipped with a registration. We even send you home with a bag of food to get you started. Um, so it's several hundred dollars worth of vet care that goes home with every pet for maybe a fifth of that price. Right. Oh, I'm loving awesome. Cora. She's so adorable. Do you guys have any upcoming events? Because I know you're always doing things. Oh, we actually just opened registration for our Triple Crown Trot 5K. Oh. So if you're a runner or a walker, now's the, you know, cheap right now to sign uh -huh. up. Yeah. Um, but right now, you know, we're just, we're, we're getting into baby season, as we, as we said. Yeah. And, you know, we got a lot of dogs and puppies in the shelter, as everyone does. So yeah. we're just trying to remind everyone to and make adoption an option. And if you don't adopt an animal, you're still taking donations all the time, right? Absolutely. We have a wish list on our website, woodforhumane.org, and, of course, always taking monetary donations. Yes, absolutely. Okay, well, Cora, we're going to try to get you adopted today. <laughs> Will you be a good girl? She's Look at her. Trying. She's so adorable. Yes. Look oh my goodness. Face. She needs to go home with somebody today. Yes. All right. And people can uh, just drop by or do they need to make an appointment? We're still operating by appointment. By appointment so only. if you're interested in Cora or if you look at our website and you see anyone else you're interested in, just give us a call. We'll get you on the schedule and we can answer any questions you okay. have. Great. Always good to see you, Beth. Always good to be here. All right. All of the information for the Woodford Humane Society is up on the screen.